The Oshan KGQ-10H is perhaps the coolest radio of 2023 in terms of handy talkies over $100. After all, it's quad band, cross band repeat, decent battery, decent power out. And, and the one thing that just is awesome is the spectrum has been cleaned, meaning any kind of issue that there was with those spurious or spurious or spectral issues are, are resolved. That's kind of cool. But you know what really sucks about it? And that's the whole chirp thing. Chirp doesn't support this radio yet, and I say yet because it's only really a matter of time. So I don't want to go too far into this project, but I'd like to provide you with something that might help you program this radio. After all, I could sit here for 999 miserable channels, and I could program 999 miserable frequencies, and it would probably take me 999 miserable hours. So instead of doing that, I could go to the computer and I can type 999 miserable frequencies, 999 probably miserable minutes. That's got to be an easier way. And so I figured why not just let AI do the job for me? I said, Hey, AI, can you fix the Oshan KGQ 10H? And it said, hell yeah. So that's what I'm going to show you here real quick. And I'll provide this file, but I can't provide tech support for you. Let's, let's get started. Let's get started here in chirp. I just want to show you a couple of things. If I go to radio and I go to download from radio, and I try to find the KGQ10H at the time of recording with the most recent update. Somebody will say it. Nope, nothing in there. So not a problem. What we'll do is we're going to go file and then we're going to click new. This generates a new file for us where now we can go ahead and we could query repeaterbook.com for a list of repeaters in our area. I'm going to do 500 miles because I really want to test this script. It doesn't actually kind of work correctly. And I blame AI. Always blame AI. Robots are taking over. So here I am. I'm just going to go radio and query source repeaterbook.com. And this is what I'm going to do because the KGQ10H is only FM and it is quad band. I'm going to go through here and I'm going to say, give me all the amateur radio repeaters for this example within the state of Illinois. And this is my latitude and my longitude. Check that out. I think it's McDonald's or something. And uh, the distance, 500 miles from here, and then only certain bands. And I'm going to select the four bands that this radio is capable of transmitting on. Click OK. And then only FM mode, because this radio is only capable of transmitting in FM mode. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on OK. Wow, look at that. I have a list all of a sudden of three, 400 different repeaters that are within 500 miles of me. Great, but we're not finished yet because, you know, I just showed you recently how you could hack the KGQ10H in order to use GMRS, FRS, and MERS, and I'm not your mother, so do what you want. And if you were to do what you want, this is how you would do it. You can go up to here to file and go to open stock config, go down to things like FRS and GMRS, go ahead and select the channel one, bring it all the way down to channel 52 while holding down shift. It selects them all, copy, edit, copy, or control C. Then go back over into your file here. I forgot to copy the first ones over too, so hold on a second. All right, let's go back into repeater book and let's do the same thing for repeater book where we hold down shift after we select the first row and we go down to the bottom row and we select those, right? And then we copy those and bring them into our CSV where we're gonna paste them. Look at that, boom. And I'm gonna leave channel zero just as it is for right now. And we're gonna learn more in a minute because, well, Oshan did do something really cool with their programming software where the first, say, 60 channels are all these different simplex frequencies for 2 meters, 70 centimeters, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's really awesome, and I want to keep that. Anyway, let's go back now and add those GMRS channels, and we could do that by going over here, copying these, and then let's go ahead and find that open channel that's down here. I'm actually going to skip a couple just to kind of keep it neat. There's a total of 999 channels in here. <laughs> I think we're going to be okay. Then all we have to do is paste them and look at that. GMRS is on there. Do that with MERS. Do it with the, whatever you want. And then go to file and you want to export this to a CSV. I'm going to call it import.csv. I know that can be confusing. Input.csv is what I'm going to I'm going to call it. Now I have a file. It's called kg.py. And this is the AI generated file. It took me about eight hours to get it to function correctly. But that kg py file. I'm going to put it into my web server, okay, or my Linux server, whatever I have. And at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also put the input.csv file in the same folder, and then I'm going to run the kg.py script. It'll, it'll look something like this. Hey, but before we do this, yeah, there's another thing I want to do. Let's go ahead and export this file as well. This is the default file that comes with the Oshan KGQ10H. And I really do like all these simplex frequencies that are already inputted into here. 
And I exported these by just going to file and clicking export, exporting them as a CSV, which I called output.csv. Are you confused yet? I'm always confused. Once those files are all in the same area on your Linux server, it's pretty simple at this point. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, well, you're gonna run the program, big brains, but make sure that your files are called input.csv and your other file is called output.csv with the original information because it will append everything into that output file, okay? Yeah, makes sense, right? What I'll do here is I'll hit enter and look at that, that's doing all this weird hacker stuff. He must be a hacker. Now I did get a couple of warnings about things being deprecated in integers and whatever, but I had AI do it and AI is never wrong. After all is said and done though, we can just confirm that our file is actually written to or the output by doing a cat of the output file. And we do see that there's 999 channels with a lot of blank channels because I didn't fill them all up. But we do see also that it did set GMRS and uh, MERS as well as uh, FRS. So things look good here. Here's all my repeaters and the names of these repeaters. Things look good. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring this file over to my computer and then I'm gonna import it into the KGQ10H software. And so you know I'm not pulling a fast one on you. Let's go ahead and click new here. New again, and I'm clicking new again. And as you can see here, it stops at 90 some odd channels. All I'm gonna do now is go to file, channel import, and I'm gonna find that file I just downloaded from my server. After I select it, I see channel import finished. I believe everything's gonna be okay. Let's click okay. And we'll really know if everything was done correctly here in just a second. It looks like the simplex frequencies all stayed the same. So this is really good. And then if we continue to page down here, yes, we do see after a hundred in one or a hundred channels, that's when it starts to fill in things like our repeaters as well as our GMRS channels. And let's see, did it fill in the GMRS? Yes, but let's see if I could write the GMRS. And I'll tell you more about all this in just a moment, but let me go ahead and go to write to radio. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a warning. AI wrote this, and so if it breaks your radio, it's not my fault. Really, it shouldn't break your radio, but just in case it does, I'm using one of the bad KGQ10Hs with the spectral purity issues, so that, hey, no harm, no foul, right? Let's jump into this. With my radio on, here's the most intriguing part. We're gonna read from the radio. No, no, don't read from it, because now you have to do that all again, dang it. Uh... Let's try that one again, but let's click write. Write to radio, please write to the radio. Everything wrote to the radio successfully, and you're gonna be like, well, does it now just mysteriously transmit with GMRS? The answer is no, which is good. I don't want this to transmit on GMRS. What I will tell you is this, if you wanted yours to transmit on GMRS, even with the radio programmed, you can go ahead and do the secret code. Hold down the number two while the radio is off, Still holding down that number two, turn the radio on. It will ask for a password and you'll type in 1145. And it says lock mode. That can't be right. Just like I said, 1445. And anyway, it goes to unlock mode. Welcome, and then, channel mode. And then it will work. Not that I tried or anything, but also it does not delete your frequencies, even if you turn it back into lock mode. So with that, what I'm trying to show you is I created this script with artificial intelligence that allows us to now program our radios quicker. All right, the number one comment I receive most of the time is stop trying to be funny because we don't like humor. And with that, let's just talk about this program for real for just a moment. Uh, AI didn't do the best job in the world. It was more of a test to see what it could do and what it was capable of. It did do the job and it was doing what I told it to, which is awesome. And I think there's a lot of potential. AI is really developing quick. One of the things I will tell you though, is it's not perfect. I didn't set any parameters to determine like, uh, if you see this high power at 50 Watts, set it down to mid power, low power, whatever. So you're gonna have to go through your power settings and you're gonna have to set those. T squelch, I think I took care of, uh, tone I took care of but I might not have taken care of DCS and some of those other kind of ones that aren't as common per se. And I just wanna make you aware of that because those are things that you may need to change. However, I imported you know several hundred channels and it's gonna be a lot easier for me to go through and click with a mouse to modify what I need to, as opposed to sitting there and typing them in all manually. So this should be a good start. As far as me giving away this file, I'll post a link below. I'm more than happy to give you the GitHub link. But again, I can't really support you and show you how to use Python and program in Python. If we get enough interest in this, I'll do a live stream where people could tell me where their areas are and I'll generate a file for them and send them the file in the email. We could do that for an hour or two.
With that, I uh, hope you have a good one. And I'm looking forward to seeing the KGQ10H supported in Chirp. Chirp, if you're watching this and you guys need a radio, I'll gladly send you this one for testing purposes. So let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Please share this with a friend. YouTube doesn't like me anymore, so I don't get any attention. Thanks. Bye. I bet they're saying, why does he have his glasses on? What the heck is his problem? I have a migraine. Leave me alone.